Hey there. I have some stuff to share with y'all, especially the conspiracy theory um, groups. Uh, you know, the stuff going up on up in Seattle right now. Um, there was a sting on a naval officer soliciting sex with minors. Her mother was involved. Um, there's stuff going on with Boeing. We need to watch this stuff. We need to research it. Um, in my opinion, these things are all connected to the big conspiracy theories. And um, I'm having a hard time sharing this. And because uh, <clears throat> I really want people to take me seriously. I am speaking the truth. I, um, let me say, some of the biggest conspiracy theories in the world are true. The truth is being suppressed. Um, I was born into a family that was part of this um, shadow government, if you will, whatever you want to call it, um, doing things behind the scenes. My great grandparents, uh, first off, I was born in Seattle. I don't live in Seattle. I was relocated two weeks after I was born in Seattle in 69. But my great grandparents lived in Seattle from 1960 to 1970. And they were involved in this stuff. I didn't know any of this. Um, I had an astrology reading done and um, the astrologer hinted that something happened to me when I was eight years old and it had to do with my family secrets. And um, so I, w at 50 years old, I'm looking for answers. My intention was not to go down the conspiracy theory rabbit hole. And that was like the furthest thing from my mind. Um, in fact, I didn't even believe in conspiracy theories. So every time I got a little bit more of my story, it was harder. It was a piece I had to digest and go, like, how does this fit in? Um, you know, I, w I found out I was missing memories. So, like, my consciousness was messed with. I was put in because, see, my great-grandfather, his, his, you know, I, I only know a little bit. So... There's a whole lot more to uncover, not just with these conspiracy theories, but with my family. And I feel like by sharing my story is it can help the conspiracy theory uh, community and others that want to find the truth out about what's going on in the world, especially with children, human trafficking, Epstein Island. You know, a lot of people point to the 1%, but it's not just the 1%. It's, it is people, like, they have people everywhere in every sort of business or profession. Um, uh, so, my great-grandfather, number one, he's in the Navy. He, um, he was a Freemason. 39th degree Freemason. It's a secret uh, degree. It's hidden. It's the Holy of Holies. Um, so they're they're hiding the uh, the Holy Grail bloodline within this. We're also related to Walt Disney. Also related to the royal family, and. Um, My great grandfather and Walt Disney were at like places at the same time, and from what I gathered, they were involved in this stuff. So, um, which is the big conspiracy theory. So, 
to what degree and what they were doing. Um, it was a lot of different things and a lot of different things are going on now. I had to write this down so that I could share this with you. So let me go back to my notes here. Oh, come to find out my great grandmother was a hypnotist. She knew black magic. I had no idea. Like my family, like this is like um, disgusting. Because it wasn't just my great grandparents. It's, it means that my grandparents were involved and my parents were involved in this. They all concealed it from me. And just like what's going on in the world, it's being concealed. It's being hidden. It's being suppressed. Um, so... I had to take a different avenue because my my memories were suppressed, um, manipulated. I, you know, being that I I really feel like my great grandfather was probably part of the OSS the CIA. He was connected to what was going on with um, nuclear atomic bombs. Um, I don't really understand that connection. Um, he was involved in aliens at the time. So he was born in 1904, I believe, and he passed in 1976. Um, yeah, this is really hard because I... I've gone down this rabbit hole so deep that I understand how much evil is around us. And I've had so many people, because they know who I am. Um, sounds crazy, but they know who I am. I, my, like, the government knows who I am because I was put into MK Ultra and the Stargate program. Um... I don't remember any of it, you know, and that's like really messed up not to be able to recall your as, and it's not dementia, it's not Alzheimer's, it's not just a matter of getting old, they're gone. And it, it, you know, I had a hard time at the, you know, realizing this and being okay with it. Um, when I discovered it, it's, it's still, it's messed up. So, but there's a lot of evil. I had a lot of evil come around me and um, they're doing black magic to me. And these people, you know, it's kind of funny because when they came into my space, whether it was through, you know, I'm a psychic, I'm a medium, I do this stuff. And whether they came through that, they came through my podcast because that's, you know, what my podcast was about spiritual healing and healing traumas and you know I like the woo woo stuff I like the psychic channeling and you know I'm, I'm okay at it I'm not you know I can do it I can get answers um but they came in my circle that way or through other podcasts that I would watch they were in the audience or they had their own podcast. And there was a lot of different things going on. It wasn't just black magic. And um, now I, I have a list of people to watch. You know, these people have created havoc in my life. But why this should matter to you, um, this evil... Who are they? What are they doing? They're doing a lot of things. They're doing evil. And you guys are, you know, the biggest conspiracy theories are right. Um, and this is connected to Epstein Island. This is connected to human trafficking. It, it's the most sinister thing to discover and realize in the world. 
But this is big business. This is bigger than drug trafficking. This is bigger than human trafficking. And, and is the human trafficking is just part of this. And the drugs are involved. Um, they are taking innocent souls. They are sacrificing innocent souls to the devil in black magic rituals. So that's what I was taken to. When I was almost eight, I was seven. This happened 7, 7, 77 at 7 p.m. And I was used in this ritual. Now, I wasn't killed because I'm part of this. I think they were training me to be um, a high priestess to do these rituals. and But it went south because I told somebody and, and they were on the radar. When I was eight, I told a teacher, and I think she told me, you know what? I, I don't, it's, this has been erased from my memory, but I think she told me to bite. And so I started biting. So, you know what? Teach your kids to bite like predators, okay? Because they leave <laughs> their, their dental imprints on the predator, okay? And their DNA. So, <laughs> bite hard. Um, but <sighs> my energy because I am of that 39th degree, my energy was sold. And that's what happens in these rituals, okay? Somebody was sacrificed. This ritual was done on an active naval military base. Um, and these, you know, people will go to great lengths to have power. They will go to great lengths to have money, to have things, they um, to make their businesses and themselves uh, more powerful and whatever they want. And this is a big business. This is what's been going on. It's been going on for thousands of years. So you guys, the conspiracy theorists that have gone all the way back to Babylon, you're ding ding right on, okay? Because I do, I have other research that I've done, personal research, and it goes back. Um, there's many layers to this. There's many people involved. Um, they're, they're drugging these innocents, and they're they're doing hypnosis on them. They're doing black magic. Uh, and where do these people go? Um, I have, a, I have an idea of where, where they're taken. Um, a lot of it's ocean. Um, can't see them, can't hear them. You know, you know, there's, I just like, there's so much here. There's people, uh, they're protected. They are protected. And um, they're not just doing hypnosis, black magic and drugs. They're involved in logistics. They're involved in transportation. They're involved in uh, trains, ships, boats, um, you name it, airplanes, what have you. This is connected to aliens, too, so you should be concerned because these aliens are basically a representative of the devil, and that's they're feeding this. Um and there are alien bases, so um, you're right on there, guys. There's a lot more to my story. I prefer you guys ask questions in the comments rather than messaging me. Um, stay calm, stay rational. Do not do anything violent or aggressive. Um, you know, I need your help. Not just ask me questions, not just, you know, I do need you to follow me. I need you to share this out. Um, but I need you guys to do an assessment of yourselves. Do your genealogy. Do an assessment of your childhood. You know, where you lived. You know, do you remember things? And, you know, I have a special request, okay? Since this came out and... Other parts of my story have to do with uh, astrology. 
Um, and I'm not an astrologer yet. <laughs> so I'm asking for astrologers. You know, okay. As far as genealogy, here's a free site. FamilySearch.org. But be careful in the genealogy be because some of the genealogy has been done by amateurs. So you need to check it. Check to see if you're part of the royal family. See who you're who you're connected to, uh, your bloodline. Okay, so um, astrologers, go to my YouTube channel, um, Spiritual Alchemy Energy, the podcast with Julie, and there I have an astrology reading that was done. There's a chart there. Uh, there's there's more to my story there too if you want to take a look at that stuff I you know I had a hypnosis done and and it goes back in time um to another lifetime as Thomas Paine who was a conspiracy theorist that was watching all of this so this is where we're going so on that on my YouTube channel I have an event chart of 7777 Treasure Island, 7 p.m. You want to use that. There's a pattern there, okay? These, it's black magic. So they're using the moon cycles. They're, they're using the planets, okay? It's energy. They're putting energy out there. They're, they're utilizing energy. This is all about energy and consciousness. And so, um, These are event charts. So I need astrologers that can do the, like maybe you have a different way of like doing historic event charts. Um, if we can go back in the past and find these, like in my lifetime as Thomas Paine, for example, we can do progress charts to see where this will happen. Um, okay, so. In Thomas Paine's lifetime, I would look at somewhere, and maybe you can do these calculations. Maybe you have a program where you can just pull these calculations up and chart these quick. I don't know how to do this. So Thomas Paine, um, he wasn't in Philadelphia at the time. He had, he had left the country. But this... I believe it would have happened around July 10th, 1787. Within, it could have been a few months or a couple years. But I would look close to July 10th, 1787 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Which is funny, it's on the 39th degree. And so is Washington, D.C. Actually, the White House is very close to the 39th degree. And, and I pulled up some coordinate. It was like 39.773 odd numbers. Um, but this pattern should show when they're utilizing the astrological planetary system to, to bring energy to this and to set that energy in motion because there it's an exchange of energy and um so i <laughs> there's a couple others i'm i'm not going to say exactly what this is but there's an event that happened it's one of the most famous sacrifices in history and um That did not happen on the 39th degree, but if you figure out the most famous sacrifice in history in the last 2,000 or so years, um, you'll, you'll know the location to look at. There's another time, and this is, this was one that was done, a human sacrifice that was done to, to set down the foundation of evil. And that would be somewhere between 1700, and this is a big window, 1700 and 3000 BC is on the 39th degree north parallel, 
which would be Ankara, Turkey. Or you might even look at um, the Delphi in Greece too. Um, let's compare notes. Like, do your research. Maybe you have other stuff. Like, the more we compare notes on this, um, the more we're going to find out. And the more, like, truth, like, factual stuff we can find to connect the dots. Um, I do have a question, like, you know, this has been on my mind for some time, but I, maybe you can help me with the answer. What is the connection between aliens and radioactive nuclear waste? And is there a connection? So, um, you know, if you want to ask me questions in the comments, I'm really like looking for some interaction uh, to like take those questions and answer them in future videos. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. Do your homework. Be safe. Be calm. Um, play frequency, high energy frequencies, 700 and above. Um, stay in the love energy.